Good morning, wild ones. Ah, woo! Lordy, please tell me you can tell me you all can hear me. Uh, can y'all hear me? Because Joel and I worked on this sound all dang week long. Who can hear me? Good morning. Woo! Oh, that's kind of sound like a hound dog. I ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. I ain't nothing but a hound dog. That's my best Elvis. Who I am really convinced, y'all, by the way, that Elvis and Cher are related. Because when I heard that song, If I Could Turn Back Time, I was like, oh, Elvis is back from the dead and he's a walking into Cher. I'm telling you, you heard it here first. It's going to be announced one day in the Enquirer. So, <laughs> so look for the cover soon. Did Elvis, did Elvis walk in to share? I think so. Yes, I do. Oh, loud and clear. Oh, praise be. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Because, y'all, <laughs> there are gremlins. I'm convinced there are gremlins in my computer and in my sound system. All right. So, whoop, 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 whoop. Let's get this party started because we are doing tarot readings today. Yes, we are. Um, but today is going to be free tarot deck Friday. Woo! I don't know why I didn't think about it before, but we're going to play a little game at the end, um, you know, close to the end of the uh, session today. And we are going, somebody's going to win a special deluxe edition uh, Arc Animal and Tarot and Oracle deck. And it doesn't matter if you already have one. Uh, hopefully you will gift, gift it to some other wonderful animal lover, Amy. You like my glasses? Thank you. Hey, <laughs> I had to wear glasses, y'all. Um, cause, cause, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but I got toothpicks propping up my eyes right now. Uh, I've been burning the midnight oil. So, uh, yeah, I've been burnt. I've been burning the 2 AM oil, but anyway, uh, share channel, share channel Elvis. <laughs> Maureen, that is a great headline. I love it. <gasps> Nikki, you do an awesome impression of share. Oh my goodness. Send me a video. I would love to see that. Now, having said that, uh, well, let me get my housekeeping out of the way first. First of all, thank you so much to my mods, Teapot and Maureen, Maureen and Teapot. Um, thank you so much to Amy, my right hand. Thank you so much to Joel. Um, I think he's uh, he's just kind of my brain at the moment. There's so much going on that I'm like, Joel, where am I at? So anyway, hey, thanks, you guys, with the new glasses. Um, these are my these are my for real spectacles. Usually I wear contacts and the glasses y'all see me wear so that I can see up close. Uh, it's cause I need glasses or I need contacts to see far away, but for real, my eyes are irritated this morning. And anytime I get irritated eyes, cause it doesn't happen a lot. I always pay special, special attention to what I'm seeing or not seeing. Um, so, but anyway, thank y'all. Uh, there's a whole long story behind these glasses. I'll get to another day and it really does have to do with seeing and not seeing, but, uh, okay. So here is the, um, yes, team Bernadette. It's not really, it's, um, it's, it's team y'all. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to buy that team Uh, it's really, we're all on the team, the wild pack. And, and I love that. So thank you, Lisa Snyder, uh, with Lisa Snyder, you got to stop making those videos, man. I watched that thing the other night and I went, Wah. Hey, did you guys see the healing that Lisa did for us on Sunday? If you haven't seen it, make, please do yourself a favor. Uh, go, go look at it. Don't look at it when you've got something to do for the rest of the day. Uh, if it hits you like, uh, like it might, you're going to be laid out for the rest of the day. Drink tons and tons of water and stay away from the sugar. I'm telling you, it's like that with that healing. So thank you to all my mods. Thank you to Amy. Thank you to, uh, Joel. Thank, and thank you all for being here. Also, we've been, we've done pretty good lately on not having the, the cheesy scammers and trolls and all that crazy nonsense. Uh, so that's good. Uh, and you know, I want to be a little more professional and just, you know, not say anything to them and just, just ban them. Uh, but I don't want that more than I want to say something to them. <laughs> I want to say something to them. So I'm just going to continue to say something to them. Also, uh, please, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you haven't hit the little ringy dingy bell thingy, uh, get the alerts, get the notifications. And also a bunch of you have written me and said, you started sharing my videos and the readings and whatnot. Oh, I'm so grateful. I'm like really honored, really, really honored. And it, interestingly, you all are really helping because there have been, I don't know, I don't even know how many new people write me and be like, how come we've never seen you before? And it's not really about me. It's about the animals, right? It's about all you all. So putting people in touch, you know, others who may not know about us here, the wild pack, that that's a really good thing because then people start talking about animals and how they love this and how they, 
you know, donate their time and donate their money and their heart and their prayers and whatever to the animal kingdom. It's amazing. Amazing. So thank you very much. Okay. Yes, you have C, uh, C Canuel and I appreciate that very much. Um, I think the scammers slide onto Facebook more. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Shadow Maven. Um, okay. So is there any more housekeeping? No, I don't think so. Oh yeah. Okay. So let me just ask this question. Um, I love you too, Nikki Anderson. Nikki Anderson, there's a, have you ever seen, uh, oh goodness, I can't think, uh, Bye Bye Birdie, there, every time I see your song, Nikki, there's a, there's a stanza in there, like something Peterson, Mr. Bye 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 Peterson, the English teacher's wife, that, I don't know why your name reminds you of that, anyway, oh my God, but wada, 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 if he had me at a gun gun, really replying to, no, you're not, you're, God, please get a life. Do something. You're building bad karma. Okay, but you're gone. Whoop, whoop. Ban. The ban hammer is strong this morning. Okay, so, um, uh, welcome RuPaul Tripathat. I don't know how to pronounce your last name. It doesn't work like that here. Um, today I'm flipping cards for the entire, uh, for the entire collective. And so your question will be answered with the cards that I flip. Okay. So, uh, that being said, I had the, it, did somebody out there or a bunch of y'all have a really musical morning this morning? Cause three songs kept running through my head. Crazily enough, um, the Chim Chimney song from Mary Poppins kept running through my head and then Amazing Grace kept running through my head and the Rose kept running through my head. So if somebody's got a connection, a very distinct connection to the Rose, the song, or it could be roses, like as literally this morning, or maybe in the past 48 hours, there was some kind of deal about roses with you. It could be the color. It could be the flower. It could be someone's name. It could be the song. Um, let me know in the chat. Cause I'll flip a special card for you. And then also if you had a Mary Poppins morning, I just kept hearing chim chimney, chim chimney, chim chim cherry. And I heard it in Dick Van Dyke's voice. And not in Mary Poppins' voice and Julia Andrew and Julie Andrews' voice. It's crazy. So if you've got a connection to um, Chim Chimney or Mary Poppins or Dick Van Dyke, um, let me know. And then also I heard Amazing Grace. And I generally, uh, you know, not to put a damper on today because there's no damper. This is Fun Friday, Fun Free Tarot Deck Friday. Uh, I just usually hear Amazing Grace at services, you know, when people have crossed over, you know, memorializations, uh, memorial, memorializations, memorials. Uh, and you know, especially they played a lot of military kind of things. So is somebody, um, hold on, let me get down in the chat. Let me look. Hi Rose. <laughs> Krista Cook, of course it was you. Our, okay, Jacqueline, your last rose. Rose, your name is Rose. Um, okay, C. Canuel and Krista, you all have a distinct connection. Um, okay, another reader. He sings G-E-M. What, what is G-E-M for, for Gemini's to that tune? I don't know what I, what is that? The Maggie, the rose is my song at my, my spirit quest. Rosa, your name is Rosa, right? Okay. Wow. Okay. Uh, wow. Okay. Okay. Right. So here we go. Crackling rose, crackling rose and bum, 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 bum. I don't remember the rest of the, um, all right. So goodness, roses. Amy, Mary Poppins, I didn't know that with you. Oh, Natalia, you're working with Mary Magdalena. Ooh. Oh, Timmy, my love to you. My total love to you on your father-in-law. Oh. Okay. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. For holy cow, you guys, it's coming and it's coming and it's coming and it's coming. Great googly moogly. Um <laughs> Love the hordes. You're Mary Poppins in leather. Oh, that leg. Goodness. Okay. Um, okay. So Veronica, good morning. And, um, my moderators will let you know how today is working. 
Oh, Rose is Finley's name, Finley's middle name, and we use roses in it. I didn't know that. Amy, how did I not know that? All right, let me just quit looking at this. I'm like so fascinated by this, but okay. Um. Okay, so here's, let me say this is for the roses. Some say love. It is a tarot card that doesn't leave your soul to bleed. Ooh, interesting. Rose people. Um, you've got zebra. And so people with the rose connection, and anybody can take anything about the rose, don't make it fit, y'all. This has got to be like for real roses, something like, okay, your name being Rose that or Rosa. Okay, that's a good one. A middle name being Rose or Rosa. But moreover, it's about the song. It's about love. It's It can even be like, a rose scent or the flower roses, but it's got to be like a thing, like a thing, right? Okay. So, um, it is, uh, no, that, I don't, I don't know what you were, I don't know what you said, uh, Kelly B, but it, but whoever that is that sings, oh, he sings it to the Mary Poppins tune. Well, I think that is significant to you because I don't know that. So I think it's, if that Mary Poppins tune is in your head and he's singing to the Geminis, that just may be for you, Kelly, that it's a, like, it's a real extra call for you to pay attention to what he said today. So here's the thing. So this is about balance, right? The zebra is about balance because it's a black and white animal, meaning not that it's black and white, but it's a two-tone animal. It could be orange and white. Like the red fox is mostly orange and white, right? That's a, a balanced animal in some ways penguins, uh, uh, you get it. A any animal that's primarily two-toned is a balance animal. But when you're talking about zebras, you're definitely drawn to, uh, you know, other continents, you know, that they're originally from. And, and so there's got to be, I keep, I keep hearing a continental divide, a continental divide, a continental divide. And I don't know if y'all remember from history, but the whole thing about the continental divide, I won't go into a history lesson today, but what that means is there's a divided camp somewhere in your, in your heart, um, or maybe I, I, there's just a divided camp, like you're on one side and a situation or someone else or a group of people are on the other side and, and everything is like on the fence and you're being asked to choose a side. So that being said, that seems odd about a card that means balance. But if something is throwing you out of balance, then it makes sense that you would choose the side that would bring everything back into balance, if that makes sense. How that correlates to roses has got to do with, I mean, I could have been shown roses by spirit in any way, but I literally heard... Bette Midler, okay, look, y'all, Bette Midler came to visit me today in the, in the shower. I was like, hey, Bette, well, you know, what's going on, sister? And, and I could hear that song just as if one of my cats or my dog had turned on my, you know, pa my, my Pandora. And it was, it was like that. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. So it, you know, and remember Fridays now, Fridays are the day of love in the throat chakra. So this is going to be about, you know, that whole song. Well, certainly roses are like the flower that represent symbolically throughout the ages. It's represented love, right? Okay. That doesn't mean it has to represent love for you. Uh, flowers are not my favorite flower. I'm a sunflower girl. Oh my God. If I see a sunflower, I'm like, sunflowers. Ah, I love them. So there's something, but about the words of that song that are also asked, they're like, bring yourself back into balance, but don't give up on love right? Because that's really what that song is about. Like some people see love like this and then, but you're being called to see love differently or, and it might not be different for you. You just may have, you just may have a, a, a filter on right now, like something you can't see through. But remember now, this is about all kinds of love and balance in love. This is about love for yourself, not just for other people or a situation or a cause. It's not about that. So there you have it. All right. So there are the rose people. Let me, um, chim chimini, chim chimini, chim chim chiroo. Good luck will rub off when I shake hands with you. Oh, blow me a kiss. And that's lucky too. Do, 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 do. <clears throat>
That's attractive, isn't it? <laughs> My throat chakra is all cattywampus today. All right, what's going on with the Chim Chimney people? Because it really is Chim Chimney. This is really interesting. <laughs> you know, it's, ne it's never good when a tarot reader, you know, because I'm like, live tarot readings right here on my channel. Come one, come all, right? And, um, and I'm like, ooh, that's weird. It's not really weird. But it is very interesting because, so this is the weasel, with this, which is the Seven of Swords, right? And the Seven of Swords card in the traditional uh, Rider-Waite-Smith tarot, uh, tarot card meanings it, because that's what my deck is based on. For those of you just joining me, welcome. For all my longtime subscribers, I, you know, I'm just going to start saying for all my longtime family, I just, it feels really weird to me to call y'all subscribers. That's what I know all the other YouTube people say that, but I, I it just feels hinky because to me, you're not subscribers. You're like, you really are the pack. You really are family. So I'm just going to say for my longtime family, I love y'all. Um, and for my new potentially, you know, might be in the family, uh, I extend a warm welcome. So this is my deck, right? Um, the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. Yay. Beautiful with all its awards and its history making. Yak, yak, yak. Um, and so, but it does, it, it, even though it's got all the animal magic and medicine in it, it is definitely, uh, the, it, it is based on the Rider Wade Smith tarot, tarot card meanings and system, right? So when you take a look at the seven of swords, it's really at the end of the day, that card is about the devil is in the details. And so for those of you that are, wow, that's a really interesting way. Okay, listen, now now that I've made the connection, because listen, when I was in the shower, then I had to, you know, I had to do other things to get ready. And so I was like, I need to disconnect from this. I'll reconnect to this energy in the reading. Now what's coming to me from the animal allies, man, this is like a for real, for real, like, please, 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 those of you that can identify even just call it Mary Poppins, right? In particular, though, the specific message is coming from the weasel, right? Um, the Seven of Swords and the Chim Chimney song. How those dots are connecting together, and it's also very interesting how I saw this because I literally had a vision of a chimney being uh, constructed in my mind and all the bricks, all the bricks, all the bricks going up and being connected with the mortar, and what this is saying is it's time to clean out your chimney so that you can see what's really there. And you've got to pay attention to the details because they're trying. Oh, like, um, oh gosh, y'all, I went into channel mode. So I've, I've forgotten, um, I, I've forgotten who, who said they were watching another reader and that reader ended for the Gemini's with, with, a song parody basically he was singing to the tune of mary poppins i want to know who that is by the way i love watching readers who are fun i do it all the time um and so uh i uh thank you kelly for the thank you with the glasses um and uh who is it natalia you got weasel yesterday as a totem animal that's awesome but here's the thing so this is about secrets right the seven of swords it's about secrets being kept it's about the devil is in the details and it really is incumbent upon you to clear the smoke out so that you really can see what is in the details or you might, uh, it might not go so well for you, whatever this thing is that you're trying to see. And interestingly, this card is usually when I, uh, you know, when I do tarot card reading or tarot card readings, um, or even, you know, Oracle card readings and this card comes out, generally speaking, it's an omen or a call that someone else is keeping secrets from my client. But today I'm being told that actually you're the one that is being called to keep secrets, not in a malicious way, not in a, uh, not in a hurtful way or sneaky way, but someone may have trusted you to keep a secret for them. Um, you may have stumbled upon some information that it is eventually it will be the right time to bring out this information, but today is not that day. So please don't do it because what I'm being told is you don't know the whole story yet. And the devil again is in the details and you can't, you know, if you clean out a chimney, uh, I I've got a fireplace in my house. Uh, I I've never used it. <laughs> it hardly ever, you know, I'd rather go to a fire pit outside than smoke up my house. But, um, 
but it's cute and it looks cute especially at christmas and halloween time right and easter so um or the yules should i say because that's really what i celebrate okay who am i kidding i celebrate them all y'all no joke my decorations stay up all year round so um so uh, there's something about cleaning the grit cleaning the soot cleaning the black smoky gr i mean it, it, whatever you know gray brown whatever it's just that soot that that you find in um fireplaces when they've been you know when they've been used just get it gone and it's gonna be um <laughs> cheryl ellis just popped in and the first thing i see is colonoscopy this is gonna be a fun ride today isn't it <laughs> Woo -hoo, that's how the whole day started off cheryl okay so there you go um people that can identify with the um, chim chimney song and mary poppins and then the other um hold on i got so deep in the chimney thing because it really is uh, i'm not trying to scare anybody and you know the spirit animals spirit totem and power animals are not trying to scare anybody but forewarned is forearmed uh amazing grace okay so i'm just gonna i just i just don't know that there's any other y'all oh my gosh Durr. think about it connect the dots, build your chimney, build your bricks. You're being asked to see the details, clean out your chimney so you can see. And Amazing Grace is what? What are the lyrics to Amazing Grace? I was blind, but now I see. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're done here. What time is it? Let's, uh, let's all go to breakfast. Mimosa's on me. Um, wow. Wowzers. Okay. Let me take a sip of my Southern iced tea without all the sugar. But for those of y'all that ever wonder, I love me some Lipton tea, but if y'all have ever had, uh, English black tea, breakfast tea made as iced tea, <laughs> you might as well just stick your finger in a light socket. Zzz, 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 zzz. Okay. So, um, wow. All right. I'm going to pull this card and I think, so just so you guys know, when I say, I think I'm not giving you my opinion, I'll tell you when I'm giving you my opinion, because I will preface it by, I'm going to step out of psychic mode. I'm going to step out of shamanic journey mode and I'm going to step into, you know, psychic mode or, uh, advice mode or coaching mode. Um, and so ma mimosas baby all the way yes it can never be too much orange juice i live in florida that's what we live for here is our mimosas um nikki what happened nikki oh no nikki what happened what happened what happened oh what happened i can't see i can't see i'm not oh nikki dang 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 however that being said i will tell you that uh it i know this i'm not even going to say if it is any consolation it's not it's not even that it's really about um it's really about sometimes you just have to see the things you don't want to see about people about a situation about ourselves okay oh it's gone oh no it's not what have i been telling y'all Yep, sure did. Down this right before the reading. Yes, I did. Trying to kick the sugar habit. And I was like, you know what? Whatevs. And I had a I had a Mexican Coke today, which is also like black iced tea. Zzz, 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 zzz. But it's got sugar in it. My iced tea doesn't. So all that being said, um, sometimes you just have to see. And it's very hard to see. It's very, very hard to see the truth of things when you do so desperately don't want it to be. But I will tell you that for anybody that wants to see... Um, this is, these are good allies to work with, right? Um, weasel is a great ally to work with the, um, um, Lordy, I've already forgotten. I've already. Okay. Okay. What I'm doing is I'm asking spirit. I'm asking the, let me just tell you. So it's skunks, right? Okay, but here's the story, because this is a ta this is 
okay, let me tell you what this is. It took me a second. Sometimes my human mind looks at these cards and I'm like, how is this applicable? And that's how I talk to spirit in my head. Well, I talk to the animals. And skunks are telling me, well, first of all, okay, this card is from the friends, family, and lovers add-on pack to the ARC. So instantly I know that this is not about a situation, your career, nothing. This is specifically about friends, family, or lovers. Friends, family, or lovers. And you know what? It could even be about, any, well, it could be about people you don't really know that aren't really friends, but people. Because if you take it globally, like if you stretch it a bit and you're like, well, we're all family. Okay, I get that. But really, it's about friends, family, lovers. And when you're, when you're talking about skunk, what I just was shown was a vision. Okay, I hope y'all know what, um, oh, thank you guys. <laughs> thank you, Wild Pack. <laughs> thank you, Wild Pack. Bernadette's not even glow. What another balanced animal. Durr. Okay, because I'm, thank you all. I really appreciate that. See, that's why we're better together, better together, stronger together, more psychic together. If you all have never been to a psychic circle, or a mediumship circle where everybody is connecting to each other. My hair is standing straight up. So is this hair, but that is about product. Okay. That's not the electricity. That's just a bunch of product in my hair. But, um, if you've never been to one of those circles, uh, it's off the chain. Things can happen that you don't, you're like, that's baloney. A very famous psychic said to me, um, her name is um, Mavis Patilla, and she's a really famous platform medium from England that has been a teacher, a, a premier teacher at the uh, Arthur Findlay College for years and years and years, and she's an amazing teacher. She didn't like me very much, but we have a story, Mavis and I. Um, but uh, but man, she's an amazing psychic and, amaz and a medium and amazing teacher. I mean, amazing. So. Mavis told a story of back in the day when she used to go to, to practice circles in the Arthur Findlay College that every now and again, somebody's chair would levitate with them in it. And I was like, I'd have to see that. I'd have to see that. And then I was told, I can't repeat the story to y'all because uh, it was told to me in, in, you know, for me to keep my mouth shut, that, that secret keeping thing from earlier. Uh, but I tell you now, I wasn't there to see it, but I'd vouch for it. Oh, yes, I would. I absolutely would. And I do believe things like that can happen. I just have never seen it happen. And you know, you all know me. I might be the spiritual crash desk dummy, but I'm no actual dummy. So I'm very skeptical. I, I want to always stay grounded in what I do. And I'd love for y'all to always stay grounded because in, in and amongst y'all, there are some seriously powerful psychic mediums and journeyers and, and healers and animal communicators and just uh, craziness. So. All that being said, um, let me go back to the skunk. I, I wonder if you all know what microfacial expressions are. And if you don't, let me just briefly say, they're the things that we do with our face that are so tiny, but they're tells. They will tell you how someone feels. They will tell you if, about someone this. They will tell you so many things about a person. And according to the FBI or CIA or one of those, we, or even, it might even been science, because I read it in psychology today a thousand jillion years ago. Like, it's millions, millions of microfacial expressions that we have a day, and we don't even know we're doing it. Um, and as, Rita, as Madonna says, Rita Hayworth gave good face. So you give good face, you just don't even know it. Well, the human brain processes like a jillion D. Bruce Lipton or Greg Braden or somebody that I would love to interview. So if anybody knows Greg Braden or Bruce Lipton, I would love to interview them from the science lane and see what they can tell us about spirit totem and power animals from a scientific perspective. So shout out Bruce Lipton, Greg Braden, Mama Bear would love to interview you. Yes, I would. Um, so call me. So as if that's going to happen. But um, I'm going to tag him on Twitter. <laughs> I got like four tweets on my Twitter channel. I'm going to tag him on Twitter. Anyway, so um, so your brain process is like a gajillion D whatever's in a hot minute, even a hot second, a hot nanosecond. And the human brain is designed to look for patterns. So you, you see 
even though you're empathic and even though you're psychic and even though you're whatever you call yourself, sometimes you can be reading somebody by, by analyzing their microfacial expressions, which is why when I do classes and we get to a certain place in classes, I have the students read blind. And what that means is you don't get to hear their voice. You don't get to see who it is. You simply have to read them. And that's like, I don't even want to say it's an advanced thing because I've seen a ton of people just starting do that. So don't let anybody tell you, oh, that's an advanced technique. That's not true. That's just because they say it's true. It doesn't have to be like that. It can be what, like whatever you want it to be and whatever your agreement with spirit can be. Now, that said, let me get back to this card because all of this is leading up to actually you are being called to watch the microfacial expressions and the tells of somebody in your family, somebody in your friends, somebody in your lovers, lover, z, plural, singular, non-existent, um, you know, whatever. But there's something about, there's something about you've got to see what's coming so that you can take action and not get sprayed. No joke, y'all. That's for real. I sound so educated. That's for real, y'all. <laughs> I was, I told y'all I'm learning investing, right? So I listened to this investor that is from Georgia, and I mean from Georgia, and I love listening to him because he equates all this really high-level, highbrow trading knowledge, and he equates it to like Southernisms, and he's really like one of the only ones I understand. <laughs> I understand. I just love him. But uh, you, you've got to do that. Something's going on in your life. And that is going to be uh, to bring balance to it. Oh, and you've got the two, right? So, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, if Aoife, okay, Aoife Shima for Aoife, anybody's going to do yet? We Aoife ain't. All right, hold on. I got to block Aoife. Because somebody would reply to that. What a dork. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Kelly only heard Greg Braden, right? Mm. It's certainly unprofessional to call someone a hottie, so I won't. <laughs> but let me just say, Bruce Lipton, Greg Braden, oh, my God. Um, and you know what? I'd love to know who your secret celebrity crush is or just who your celebrity crush is. Mine is... Um, Oh, sweet bejeebus, not Giovanni Rabisi. Paul, Paul Giamatti, no joke. Paul Giamatti is the hottest thing walking because he's so talented and he's got such heart. I just, everything he does, even if it's not great, like the lady in the water was not great. Um, but it's a Ron Howard movie, so I watched it anyway. And it had him in it, so I watched it anyway. I just look at the TV like this. I don't even hear anything he says. If you guys have seen Billions, some of the best acting he's ever done in his life. And John Adams, let me just say. So tell me who your secret um, so your secret or your way out there crush is. I think we, <laughs> there's a whole, Greg Braden, Greg Braden, Bruce Lipton, Bruce Lipton. Um, I'm going to tag them in this, y'all. I for real am. And they're probably never going to watch it. But they just need to see how much they're loved wildly. We've got wild love for the Greg, for the Greg Braden and the Bruce Lipton. Right? Dreamy guy land. Dreaming. Yep. Bruce Willis. If he would stop making those three grade C movies, Paul Rudd. I love Paul Rudd as Ant Man. <laughs> he makes a great Ant Man. Brad Pitt. Of course. Hugh Jackman. Of course. Uh, uh who's your dream? You know, Antonio from <laughs> That's Awesome from Queer Eye. I love that show. Oh, I love that. Linda Carter. You know what? Let me tell you something. In my generation, girls were either in love with Linda Carter or wanted to be Linda Carter or both. All right. So we had some fun there and got away from the, um, cause that skunk thing's a little serious y'all. I mean, if you've never been sprayed by a skunk, they're in a lick of tomato juice. <laughs> well, first of all, there ain't a lick of nothing that can <laughs> take the red off your backside when your mom goes buck wild. Um, cause you got sprayed by a skunk and you're stinking the place up. Dwayne Johnson, like a rock. Um, so, uh, anyway, so that's pretty serious y'all for real. You, please start looking at micro microfacial expressions. And those of you that are in training, 
or you know really just doing anything to elevate your skills as a psychic medium uh i would encourage you to start being sure that what you if you're if you're looking at a client even if you're talking i mean you have to talk to him on the phone i know some of you do email readings oh chris hemsworth wow. right for real so um if uh oh my god i don't remember i don't know i think it was chris hemsworth he was in the movie with the other guy that i love and oh my gosh the title people they did pitch perfect together the big australian girl bl blonde hair What's her name? I just love her. She's so talented. Uh, it, it was a rom-com. It was a rom-com. And the guy that was, um, please don't stop the, please don't stop the music. Dun, 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 dun. Whatever his name is. He's also super talented and hilarious. Okay. Jason Momoa. Uh, and I would drink him like a Jason Mimosa. That's for sure. Ha, ha, ha. That's it. I'm going to do a meme anonymously. And I'm going to call it Jason Mimosa. And I'm going to put him draped in a big old champagne glass <laughs> with oranges all over him. Let's do that. Oh, Patrick Swayze gone too soon. Okay. We became friends. He was so nice. Who are you friends with? Somebody rich and famous? I love it. Jason Momoa. No, J pitch perfect, right? Jason Mimosa. That's it. Okay. So, um... You know, that's the dream movie, uh, Jason Mimosa and Chris Hemsworth and um, Paul Giamatti. Oh, and Greg Braden and um, <laughs> I'm getting way off track. All right, here we go. All right, so for the collective, Rebel Wilson, thank you. Goodness. Um, goodness. I would drink him like a mimosa. No joke. And I'd ask for more. Could I have another one, please? <laughs> Just keep them coming. Okay, so. See, oh, Lordy. This is. This is. Welcome to Bernadette. Okay, so. Um, I want to put his hair in my mouth. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, Lordy. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so let's just do this. I'm supposed to be, you know, I'm supposed to be doing all kinds of things I'm not doing. But um, why don't y'all, how about we ask some questions and I will <laughs> let your fetishes fly. Let your freak flag fly, girl. Um, what, um, <laughs> I can't unsee that, Nikki. I just can't unsee that. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Y'all, <laughs> I got to tell you this story. <laughs> You'll appreciate this, I think. And then I'll actually get back to tarot reading. Get your pictures, get your pictures, uh, get your pictures, get your questions in mind. And um, <clears throat> I'll just start answering questions. I'm not going to do the three part, the three card pull this week. Um, I already did the three card pull <coughs> that was very specific for you guys. However, that being said, true story. My sister and I found we're at the funeral home picking out a casket for our mom. And all of a sudden, my now ex-husband and her husband, they've been married a thousand years. Um, and I'm still very good friends with that ex-husband. I'm very good friends. And so um, they called us. It was an emergency. So the funeral director came and got us and said, there's an emergency. You got to talk to And I'm like, okay. They found a will. Handwritten on, handwritten on, you know, that yellow legal pad paper. <coughs> Pardon me, but it was all we had. She wanted to be, my mom wanted to be cremated and, and her ashes scattered in the Rainbow River in Donellan, Florida. My sister and I were like, what? So I'll, sp I'll, I'll tell you the story another time about how the box that she ended up being shoved in the oven in. Um, and I know that sounds crass, but we just, I have to joke about it. Or I still blew my eyes out. So when, my <coughs> pardon me, my sister and I were about as traumatized as traumatized get. And finally we went to pick up her ashes and I just couldn't, man, my sister went in and got them and she had, she gets in the car and she hands me this little cardboard box. And I'm like, what is this? She said, mom, I'm like, what? <coughs> pardon me y'all I'm gonna eat a mint so the box was still warm the box was still warm they literally had just taken her out what her out of the oven so I opened the box my sister's like don't do that and I'm like I have to see and there was like I kid you not a Ziploc baggie a two gallon Ziploc baggie and I looked at my sister and I said well yellow and blue really do make green and we both started boohooing our eyes out so she was cremated at um, Donnellan Funeral Home, and 
we we had a, a place we always used to go to on the Rainbow River right around the corner. So we went around the Rainbow River. But before we went, the funeral director said, what are y'all going to do with her ashes? And we looked at each other. We said, dump them in the Rainbow River. He said, do not get caught doing that. We're like, why? It, are you kidding me? It's sanitation, environmental. It is completely against the law. You, you, They may not haul you to jail, but you'll get a big fat fine. We're like, what? So we got on, on over to the Rainbow River. And we're sitting in the car, and now we're like, we're looking for the river patrol, which routinely, you know, is around, uh, around the clock on the river. And we're like, okay, we don't see anybody. So we go down to the deck, and my sister's like, or to the, to the dock, or we're standing out over the water. And my sister's like, well, what should we do? I went, I, what do you mean? I don't know. Say a prayer, sing a song. She was like, we don't do, like, that's, we don't, we don't, do you know how to pray? <laughs> like, no, do you know how to pray? So I was like, I know how to sing. She was like, don't do that. So <laughs> we just said, we love you. And my sister, because she's a sanitation freak, did not want to touch the cremains. <laughs> so she takes, <laughs> she opens the Ziploc and she's going to pour my mom's cremains into the Rainbow River a little bit at a time. Well, a clump fell out. A big old giant clump said bloop right into the water and it was windy. And guess what? My mom got all over my lipstick, my lip gloss. <laughs> I, you can't know the dance I did almost fell off the dock. My sister thought it was the funniest thing ever she's ever seen in her life. She drops to the drops to the dock floor, could not stop laughing. More, more of this is billowing ar around and she's like, oh my God. And I turn around and here comes river patrol. And all there was, was a giant cloud of my, our mom billowing down the rainbow river. Now it's sticking to the side of the boats. I'm still trying to wash her out of my hair, get the lipstick off. And my sister is like, run. I'm like, to where, where are we going to run to the car? Let's go. So we jump in the car. It's raining. All of a sudden it started raining. We were soaked. We were scared. We were going to get arrested. Or worse, we have to pay a fine because we was Poe still, Poe back then. And and all of a sudden my sister says, duck. So we go to try to duck in the car. <laughs> she goes this way. I go that way. We, <laughs> we wept our heads together. <laughs> bent down and and i had to peek i had to be like this above the dashboard and river patrol said this and they went right on by they didn't care <laughs> anyway we went and dumped our mom and the rest of the river and we went home and i i don't remember what well, i think i made rum and cokes pretty much all the rest of the day um so anyway that is <laughs> that's that story which actually had to do with y'all. Mary Williams James, shame on you. You're probably not even, yeah, you're drawn to that person. You suck. I'm telling you as a human being, whoever you are, you suck and I'm so sorry for you because the karmic backlash is gonna be strong, strong. Blocked, boop. Okay, so who said this is a short film? I don't remember uh, whoever said that. Okay, so there's the story. So if you ever need to dump somebody's cremains in the river, do it if that river patrol doesn't see you. Um, unless it's Danelle in Florida, in which case they don't care. Those old boys had to have those old boys had to have beer in their uh, thing because that's Florida. Okay, so let me get back to um, let me get back to the readings. I don't remember at what point this was. Uh, I don't remember at what point this was relevant. It really was relevant. I wasn't just off on a, um, I wasn't just off on, I did. I got a fresh face of mom. Kelly B. I totally did. Um, hey mods. Will some of one of y'all answer, answer, answer Dante Amaran or Amaran. Let him know how it's working today. So, um, thank you all for listening to the story. If you remember, I read out some kind of comment, um, that really it was relevant to the funeral and the cremains and all of that in the river. I don't remember what it was all about, but there you go. So there's your, there's your funny story for the day and totally true. Um, and man, we had a headache. I mean, when we went down, we clonked each other in the head, but good. And that was that. All right. Um, did you guys come up with your, huh? Okay.
okay. Somebody ask me a question. Who's losing their home? Oh, Lily. Oh, y'all. <sighs> I think I need to stop being a psychic and just be backup. Just fly from place to place and be y'all's backup. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Oh, his name's Dante something something. Dante Amaran. Hey, Beverly. Oh my God, Beverly. I was just telling a Danellan story. Hope you heard it. Um, my friend Beverly. <laughs> Go Tigers. Okay, so um. Okay, you don't have a question, but a card would be great. Okay. Okay. I went through a divorce, nasty. Aren't they all? <laughs> That's interesting that you're going to put on Adele. Is it going to be Rise Up? Oh, okay. I'll tell you the story another day, Beverly. Um, okay. I don't see any questions, so I'm just going to tell y'all for the collective, for the wild pack, for everybody. What were we just talking about? And so I'll rise up. Right? Okay. This is for everybody, Raven. This is for everybody who just said, just pull a card for me. This is just for you, the Phoenix. It is, it is about that. It is about rising up. It is about, actually, it's not. Okay, man, this has been the day of really just so interesting tarot card meanings, the messages, the, the, okay, wow, I don't, on my mom's river, and she was my Girl Scout troop leader. Man, I could sell Girl Scout cookies. If y'all ever need anybody to sell Girl Scout cookies for your children's, you call me. <laughs> I'll smile and dial for you. I'll sell the mud out of those things. Okay, here's what I'm hearing. Actually, it, I mean, yes, you're going to rise again. You you are going to come up, you know, and so I rise up. And I, I just, all of a sudden, I'm hearing every, like, church not him, but like that, like amazing grace, when you hear amazing grace and it just envelops you and it rocks your insides and it gets deep, 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 deep into your spirit. I'm just hearing all of these like songs that are like, well, like rise up. I mean, okay. It's, it's a pop song in theory, but if you ask me, I'm like, that's straight up church right there. That's a church song because it evokes that kind of reverence. It evokes that kind of love. It evokes just, it evokes. So all that said, here's the most interesting thing about that. Here is Amazing Grace on bagpipes. Gypsy Nana. That's it. You just said it. That's my dream man. A man who can play Amazing, Pi amazing Grace on bagpipes. Well, not like Urkel, but that's it. That's it. I'm putting it out into the universe. Oh, my next husband is going to be uh, a bagpipe playing guy that knows Amazing Grace, and that's how he's going to woo me. So I'm putting it out there. Okay. Um, and if he had an accent like Scottish Irish, uh, Scottish is hard to understand sometimes, but um, Scottish Irish or British, even the better. Maybe Pierce Brosnan plays the uh, maybe, maybe Pierce Brosnan plays the bagpipes or Greg Braden, and he can do it with an accent. Uh, okay. So this is the thing. When folks talk about the phoenix as a symbol, as a spirit totem or power animal, this is for real serious, y'all. For real serious. I don't know why I'm country all up in here today. It's probably that Mexican Coke. Anyway, because I haven't had sugar in a while. They focus on, or they are told by readers, my experience has been, this is not true every day in every way. Okay? Um... <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, you and Nikki and I and a bunch of the rest, we, we just all have to party. Kilts and Scottish accents, right? Kilts. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Have you all seen the kilted, the kilted coaches or something like that on Facebook? They are fitness coaches and they only wear kilts and boots, Scottish boots, boots, and they run around, you know, they run around the world and do their anything. Okay. Nikki, ooh, Jason playing anything like you. <laughs> I drink him. I would drink him like a, the mimosa that he is. And Nikki's, <laughs> Nikki Anderson's like, <laughs> I'll let him play me like a fiddle. So um, anyway, just the accent and I'm gone. Pearl, yes, but we're totally jelly. Um, and so, yes, uh, misplaced oddity. Number one, I love your name. That's awesome. Yes, misplaced oddity. This is for everybody right now. So please know that this card is just for you. Like it's for everybody, right? What do you mean Dunedin, Florida has a lot of Scottish bagpipes? I gotta, I gotta hear, I, I, I gotta see. <laughs> yes, please, with his hair in my mouth. <laughs> Nikki, you're killing me today. Y'all are all killing me today. I need Y'all, I'm sorry. I need to get back to being an actual reader. Okay, but this is, listen, there are 149 cards in my deck. 149. Here they are, right here. And, um, man, I hope y'all sh share this on social media. People will come to my channel just because I'm kooky. All right, so misplaced oddity. This is for real. And there are a bunch of y'all that are going through through the soup at the moment. There's the card. There's my tea. There's the card. There's my tea. However, this is no joke, y'all. How it's happening in my psychic mind is I'm seeing, I'm seeing. Oh, no wonder I was called to tell y'all the story about the ashes. Durr. Why am I not more up on it today? Usually I can connect the dots just like that. Earlier when the dots were connected about the soot and the this and the not seeing what, now we're, no wonder Phoenix came out. Okay. Earlier the story was about my mom, right? Well, it was about our whole family and it was about ashes. What does a Phoenix do when it's supposed to? It pff, bursts into flames, falls down in ashes, and then arises again, brand new, new and improved, bionic, supersonic right? Supersonic. So super shamanic. Actually, what I'm being, I'm sure about this, what I'm being told to say to you all is this is your time to burst into flames, crumble into ashes, and then rise again. Now, this is not about the rising again at this point. What it's about is allowing yourself to crumble to ashes. And who wants to do that? It's painful. It can leave scars. And um, and it can. But you gotta. Because by not, by, by only allowing yourself to just stay in flame, to stay on fire, if the fire is awesome, like it's about passion and it's about, I don't know, a good kind of fire, warmth and hearth and home and that kind of thing, reigniting your spirit, reigniting all your chakras, right? That's one thing. But if you are just on fire, like people who know me, they know do not contact me on Monday unless it's an emergency because I call it my hair on fire day. Most people have a hair on fire day on Monday. Mine's no joke. It doesn't have to be like that. But as much as I've tried to control it, it always seems to be like that. But this is not about the actual being on fire. This is about allowing yourself to be, to be turned to powder, turned to dust. Go back to basics. Go back to Mother Earth. And then you rise again. Knowing knowing that you're going to be a better version, a more elevated version, a stronger version. Um, mythology goes that Phoenix comes back in different colors. Okay, pick a color, pick all the colors. I'd come back as a rainbow Phoenix if it was me. I'll let me have some rainbows. I'd be a hybrid. <laughs> I'd have a unicorn horn and bear paws. So, um, yeah. It's about that. Now, please don't take this literally. Please don't let me get an email that somebody has literally set themselves on fire. Please don't do that. And I have to make that disclaimer 
This is for metaphysical entertainment purposes only. This is all, everything that's said on this channel is a metaphor. It's a, um, it's a prognostication. It's a, a fortune telling thing, right? Take it with a grain of salt. It's entertainment. I have to say that. So that said, I don't, I don't recall the last time that Phoenix as a spirit totem power animal or, or as an Oracle card or tarot card or anything has come to me with that message again. To my recollection, it's only ever been about people that are truly at the bottom and at the bottom, at the bottom and have now got to rise again. This is not about that. This is about let yourself fall apart. Let yourself fall apart. Case in point. I always say I'm the one, my sister and I, we're the ones you want there in, in an emergency. And I have a couple other friends that are like that. When there's an emergency situation, we're the superheroes because we don't fall apart. We keep a level head. What needs to be done? We just go into go mode. Like that's the only thing we know how to do is go into go mode. But both my sister and I, and one friend in particular, once we know everything is taken care of and everybody's safe and everything is cool and back on track, we collapse very, very Phoenix like it's not fun. It's not, but sometimes you've just got to let yourself drain. You can call it collapsing. You can call it draining. You can call it falling to pieces, whatever you want. You got to be dust to dust. That's it. Okay. There's that message. All right, moving on. Oh, Angel Karina, you're a bad person, not in your soul, but in your spirit, Angel Karina, you're a bad person and you're going to have terrible karma because not only are you trying to scam people, but you're trying to scam my people. Nope. Bye-bye. Okay. You already started your own business. C can't, don't little C, big C. I don't know why I'm being told you already started your business. You already did. Oh, What does that mean? Maggie Decker, what does that mean? That is a survivor mode. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? That's probably some psychological counselor, psychiatry, something that I don't know about because I don't. Oh, I don't know why Teapot. They're, um, they're on, um, they're on Facebook. So far, they've just been on Facebook. It's all right. I, but you notice, I don't even, <laughs> Don, here comes Don. Hey, Don. Rum and Coke. It is. Well, I drink rum and diet when I, I don't drink anymore. Really. I make a big joke out of it. Tea and honey is just as good. What kind of tea are you drinking, Don? Don, do you play the bagpipes? Really? No, sorry. A kazoo is not as good as bagpipes. Nice try. Oh, Lordy. Okay, bye, Jacqueline. Have a great day, honey, and have a good weekend. Kazoo, I know. We Thank you for showing up. Oh, good morning, Vietnam. Gone too soon, that poor fella. All right, so here we go. Survivor moment. Oh, I get that. St Stephine. Stephanie, are you sure you want to move to Arkansas? Are you sure? Okay. Okay. Sorry about crunching this mint in my in, in y'all's ear, but I, I gotta have it or I'm going to cough. <laughs> I just want to sit and watch the chat. I'm sorry. Y'all let me get back to my job. Y'all are being so patient with me today. That said, let me say this. There's been some heavy duty messages come out today. 
I don't know that the energy would be all so great if I just stayed in the messages, stayed in the messages, stayed in the messages. Um, hey, Wild Pack. Are, uh, what, how, are y'all doing some serious inner work right now? Who, who in here is doing, se um, good morning, good morning. It's great to stay up late. Good morning, good morning to you. Boop, 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 booby doo. Ah. Wait, <clears throat> ah. nope. Boop, 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 booby doo. Ah. Ah, I can usually squeak like Betty Boop, but I can't do it right now. I don't know why. <clears throat> okay, it's that gunk in my throat. That's attracted. That's got gunk in my throat. Okay, listen, somebody asked about a, um, a business earlier. Now I can't get Betty Boop out of my mind. Lordy. Okay. Yeah, for real. Again, I, okay, Maggie, Maureen, um, C. Canuel. Okay, a lot of you doing a lot of really deep inner work. Wow. See, again, I'm, you know what? Maybe I'm just making an excuse for myself today because I really am focused, like laser focused. For many reasons, I am no joke laser focused today. But for those of you that think you're doing the deep work, and I'm not saying that you're not, you are, but the Four of Pentacles, you know, the traditional, well, let me find the card um, in the Rider Waite deck while I'm telling y'all. The traditional card is that old boy, you know, plop down, on his little bench and he's and he's holding a pentacle and he's got two pentacles under his feet and <clears throat> yes it's good to to love abundance and remember pentacles can be all kinds of abundance it can be about regular uh you know there in, in again in the traditional rider Waite smith tarot card meanings which is again what my deck is that i read from even though it's got beautiful animals all over it the um that coin or uh, it, you know, it can be about money, but remember a pentacle is five, five, five points, earth, air, fire, water, spirit. So when I see the four of pentacles come up, <clears throat> why can't I find this card? I'm alerted to that somebody may be experiencing a scarcity consciousness because that card can alert a reader. Here he is. He's got one on his head. I'd love to be able to balance a big, I wish I had a hunk of gold that big. So if you take a look at this old boy, he's got a big old hunk of gold, um, <clears throat> a coin on his head. And that, that is definitely a tie in to the abundance of divine messages that are, uh, that are accessible to him and to you at any time. And when you think about he's holding the coin, he's not just holding the coin, he's holding it like this and close up to his chest. So you could take that as a, he's being a miser. I'm tucking in. I don't want anybody to get it. But when you look at this, it can easily become a, almost a, an eternity kind of symbol. And it can also be about scarcity in your heart now this is going a little off the i'm going a little off the off the ranch off the rails here from the traditional tarot card meaning but i'm just saying what it can mean to me as a reader sometimes sometimes it is about something else but definitely i saw this card one time for somebody man this person was going through it financially and they were like i'm so confused I'm in such a state of terror. They weren't afraid. They were terrorized that whatever you tell me today, Bernadette, is the answer I'm going with. And I was like, I, I would really encourage you not to do that. Well, why is that? Because no reader is 100% accurate 100% of the time. It just doesn't work that way. And I said, I do not want to be responsible for giving you a message that could turn out to be a big water horse hooey or or, or, or accurate, but for three years from now, or the, and she was like, look, I've been coming to you for a lot of years. Just what are you getting? And I'm like, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm seeing. So I saw this old boy get up, <clears throat> see the water in front of him or the blue. I, I'm pretty sure it's water. Anyway, in my psychic mind, I watched this old boy get up and everything, the blue in front of him turned to ice and the pentacles, the coins became his ice skates. 
and he it was like he was at the Olympics. He just skated around the ice. He twirled. He did, you know, all kind of Scotty. What was that guy's name? Scotty, whatever his name was. It just crushed it at the Olympics in, I don't know, 1905 or something. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was like in the 80s. Just killer, amazing guy. And I was like, I got news for you. You're going to be not okay. You're going to be more than okay. Uh, you're going to have what people call F. Mm -mm -mm, you money and she was like really and I'm like that's what I'm being told <laughs> guess what neither she nor the rest of her family ever have to work again ever so if the ice if he had fallen through the ice I would have been like you're skating on thin ice don't do it so what this card is, um, what this card is really saying, because if you take a look at Caterpillar, right? And I always hear Danny Kay in the Inchworm song every time I see a Caterpillar and they're not the same critter, but you know that a lot of Caterpillars obviously turn to butterflies. They go into the larvae stage. This is not the time for you to cocoon in. This is the time not for you to be a miser, meaning a scarcity consciousness that is working against you. But that is about mind, body, spirit, earth, air, fire, water, spirit. It's about all the things. And how I'm being told that is you may only go forward a little bit at a time. But that's good because that gives you time to look around and be cautious. So whatever you're having a scarcity consciousness about, the fear of, and you know, we can tell ourselves a thousand times a day why we would never get this, why this is not likely to happen. You know, even when people go, yeah, right. That's the same thing as telling the universe, I don't want that. I don't believe that'll happen. Yeah, don't bring that into my life. It's the same thing. Because the universe doesn't distinguish, so I'm told, <laughs> between words. It responds to emotions because emotions are electricity. And it's not the words that you spit out of your mouth. It's the intent behind them. It's the emotion behind them. You can say flibberty gibbet. And the next thing you know, you know, old Jed's a millionaire. And y'all are, you know, moving on up. To the east side, to a deluxe apartment in the sky. I'm moving on up. And I used to jam to that song when I was a kid. So also, if you're like, well, you know, you get to a certain age and it's like this in the dating world. It's like this. It's like this. Okay. All right. Well, that's how you think, think it's going to be. See, my eyes are red. I don't even have any makeup on today, y'all. Um, okay. Well, if that's, if that's the story you're telling yourself, then the universe is going to go, okay, righty, <laughs> and give you exactly what you think and what you want. Cause it's clearly what you want or you wouldn't be so attached to it. We don't stay in the energy of things we don't want. We don't most of the time, but we do try to avoid getting hurt and disappointed and so it's easier a lot of times to say, right, or that will never happen or, you know, and, and people have a million excuses of why that can't happen. I live in Florida, y'all. It's God's waiting room. And the villages, Florida in particular, <laughs> all you have to do is sit in any bar or any restaurant in the villages on a Friday or Saturday night. I probably could make a billion good dollars as a reader and so could you because there are so many people slopped over their drinks so unhappy about their love life why did this person do this oh my god oh he's looking at me i mean it's like that in the villages so, <laughs> it's not my scene but you know the, everybody's looking for love from themselves mostly even if they don't know it so here's the story don't be a miser don't, don't be a miser and don't be a miser with yourself 
that's that's really at the crux of it. What this what the seven of pent or the the four of pentacles really is all about today is don't be a miser to yourself. Why why don't you give the same love and acceptance to yourself as you do to the world around you? That's just illogical. Oh wait, that's Nanu Nanu. Oh, that's Spock. It's illogical. So I do a terrible Spock. So don't do it. Just stop it right now. And sometimes you may want to just carry like a gold coin. <laughs> it was a time of my life. I just wanted to learn the pentacles. So I just wanted to get in a deeper relationship with the pentacles. Y'all know those horrible chocolate candies that are wrapped in that foil that make them look like gold coins. It's the cheapest. It's worse than Palmer chocolate on Easter, y'all. It's nothing but grease. It's just nothing but lard and like that much cocoa powder in it. And the rest of it's just crap. But um, I, I carried those things around with me and I rewarded myself. Every time I had a, a moment that I worked past my scarcity consciousness, I'd pop one of those chocolates, however bad they were. And then I discovered, I want to say it was Harry and David or some, uh, a friend of mine, I think went to, that was it. A friend of mine had traveled to um, Switzerland and brought me back a, a whole suitcase worth of Swiss chocolate. And in there were these amazing gold coins. Anyway, so that's the story. So do whatever you need to do, but you got to work past your scarcity consciousness. Okay. All right. It is 10.08. Um, let me see. Oh my gosh. Mystic with the lipstick. The for, 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 I can never pronounce them. For, I call them Ferrari chocolates, just so you know. They're the things wrapped in hazelnut with the wafer. Have you had the white coconut ones with the white chocolate? That will change your life. Uh, change your life. Okay. Ha ha, a mystery mobile. I please co I will come to Florida. We'll ride around in your mystery mobile. I love that. Oh, yo! Hey, congratulations, everybody! A thousand messages today. <gasps> Thank you so much. Ooh, eleven eleven a.m. What? Okay. All right. So let me move on. Can somebody just ask a specific question, please? My here's what's happening. I know when I need to answer something psychically instead of just with the tarot, my I start to get a, a, a pounding in here. Not a headache, but a little bit of a went, 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 went. I want to be with my love who will be sitting in Arkansas. Well, that's a good reason to go. So could so right, so mystic with the lipstick. I want to give you a card. What I asked, when will I move? When will I move? Bow, 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 bow. When will I move? Whitney Houston and her daughter. Two more people gone too soon. Maggie, you asked when will you move? Not until you decide you really want to. I don't think you really want to yet. It's like almost like a I should, and this is kind of blocking me, but you're not all in on this move. As soon as you are all in, that's when you'll move, which may not be until fall to winter of this year, like just at the crest of winter this year. And something about in 2022 wouldn't be good for you to move, but 2023 would. There you go. You heard it here first. Right? I I got a crazy like wah, 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 wah. So Kelly, I would love to answer that. But oh, you know what? I, I also want to say this. this is for everybody. I'm not picking on you, Kelly. I get asked a lot to psych out on other people. Like if somebody's in a reading with me, will you tell me what this person's thinking or this person's feeling or how's this going to work out? I, I, I can do that. I won't do it. And I'll tell you why. Many psychics will. I consider it a breach of ethics. I consider that in a person, like if you come to me as a person, if you come to me as a police department, if you come to me as a governing body that has to do with the law, of any kind and you want information, I'll be your huckleberry. But just to answer what someone else thinks or feels or whatever, uh, it's the same as peeping in their windows with no permission. Now, what I can, I, what I will answer for people is if there's a situation and it affects you, I will first ask you questions about the situation to make sure I'm deep in that energy. 
and then I will, I will hopefully be able to, uh, give you a clear vision of what will be happening if X, Y, and Z happens or doesn't happen. And in that way, you can kind of sort of get your answer. But if you're just literally, truly, truly not like on Facebook asking for a friend, if you're really asking, I, 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 I can do anything, but I will only answer that question if it specifically affects you. So, um, will the sale go through? Why did a toxic friend? Okay. Let me just say this. Oh gosh. Okay. So what I'm doing in my mind at the moment is I'm sending out a call Okay, one of you that just asked a question, li literally like, you either, uh, you're either on some medication that's making you kind of dopey and sleepy, or, or, yeah, there's something about you that's making you kind of feel dopey and sleepy. doesn't have to be medication but that's what it feels like so what I want to say is and I, please don't please don't tell me who you are you, there, there's no need to call yourself out like that but here's the message for you okay this is going to be for anybody who posted a question after mystic with the lipstick posted at 10:09, um, where she posted I'd love a card and yes but yes those are so yummy anybody after that that asked a question I feel like you're in a place where um, you're, you're like, something's not, I don't know. There's some, you, you've got to get out of the, you've got to get out of the thick headedness. It, it like, even my tongue is swelling. So I feel like you might've even had a, an anaphylactic reaction or an allergic reaction sometime, like in the last week or something. Doc Hollywood. Oh, Doc Holiday. I was thinking Doc Hollywood. That was filmed like a half an hour from me in Micanopy, Florida. Okay, something's going on with one of you that are like this. And I don't know, again, if you're on something like you ele electively or not, elect, you know, medically approved or not medically approved or whatever. I don't care. I mean, I care about you, but I don't care which way it is. But I feel really groggy. I'm starting to slur my words. Um, whatever this is that's causing you to be that way, you got to stop. And if you had an allergic reaction to something in the, in the last week, please be on high alert for the coming two weeks. I was going to say week, you know, watch microfacial expressions. I started to go and I was told whap by spirit. Nope. Two weeks in the next two weeks. Be very careful that you don't have the, be very careful. You don't go into a, um, into any kind of, uh, allergic reaction again, whatever it was you were allergic to stay far, far, far away. Okay. Um, somebody asked if they were going to sing their heart out. See, uh, see, well, you asked if you'll sing your heart out. Nope. You'll sing it in because if you don't sing, I don't know anything about you, but what I'm being told is you're going to sing your heart into yourself. Cause if you don't sing, you don't really, you're like, that's the only thing I live for, <laughs> literally. And I'm not saying the rest of your life is not is is not worth anything. It certainly is. But to you, what I'm picking up from you and your heart is that um is that you have to sing. Now, are you gonna be on a big stage? That's not really what you're asking me. What you're asking me is are you going to be on a stage making a lot of money like in the traditional way? Maybe, but not in the way you think. Is there some reason that you don't have your own channel or way for people to connect to you and your music? Because I keep hearing the world is a stage and we but players in it or on it. It's a Shakespearean thing. I'm sure you know that. Um, 
Oh, you're on meds for your PTSD. Mystic with the lipstick, does it make you feel loopy? I gotta get out of this. Um, so yeah, see, Canuel, you, you've got to sing your... Beverly Gomez Adams, you were not an extra in Doc Hollywood. <gasps> what scene are you an extra in? I will watch that tonight and find you. You know, I will. Um, yeah. There's something about your being called. Let me see if you um, responded down here. Still have to rearrange everything. I don't know what that means. I'm terrible with computers. Okay, look here. What were we just talking about earlier? Scarcity consciousness. See, Canuel, if you knew that by setting up a YouTube channel or a Vimeo account or whatever, an Indiegogo or whatever, a YouTube channel with Patreon or whatever, and you knew that if you set that up, by the end of next year, you'd have a half a million followers and people would pay to get your downloads of your music. Would you do it? Of course you would. Or you'd find somebody to do it for you. So the I'm terrible at computers thing, I love you. This is not psychic. This is mama bear. That That's not much of an excuse. So if you're not good at them, find somebody who is. And it doesn't take very much, honey. Okay. Um, I, I It doesn't take very much <laughs> to find somebody that can do that. And it, it, you could just shoot it with your phone and load it or whatever. But I'm telling you, get, get up on it. Uh. Okay. All right. I got to get out of the energy. Um. Okay. So I just want to make this, I just want to say this. I welcome every single new person to my channel. I do. I welcome you. You are welcome in the wild pack anytime. And when you show up and you're brand new and you demand attention or you demand a reading, nope, that's, that's a big no for, um, I understand you might be in need, you might be in trauma, uh, but manners matter and, uh, be nice about it. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. So. And please don't inbox me privately on Facebook. Don't do that because I have a computer. And guess what? My Facebook is open on my computer. I'm looking at that too. My eyes are everywhere. I got eyes in the back of my head. Okay. Um, you're ready. You're, you're very welcome to see Canuel. Oh, I got it. Aaron, Selena, replying to Beverly. If it looks like a duck, smells like a duck, quacks like a duck, I feel pretty confident that's going to be somebody. Beverly Gomez, don't. Bye bye. Okay, you're gone, Zola. Um, that's none of my people. Never, Don, never accept the actions of a man as his true thinking until he proves he's seeing you through the eyes of unobstructed by male focus the facets of love must blend equally fun is not a relationship that looks really deep that looks really deep I don't get it maybe you could explain it to me like I'm nine because I really am okay Jules first Okay, let me do this because it's getting on about that time. Let me give y'all a final card. I love it. Bam! That's a terrible squirrel impression. It's the best of what I got this morning. But here's the story. For everybody who has a question right now, everybody 
who got a question right now. Squirrel is the Ace of Wands. Now, this is one of the most inspirational cards in the arc. Well, in any tarot deck. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm letting Squirrel talk to me. You know, this just hit me. When you see a squirrel in the wild, they very rarely look anything other than bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. Um, they very rarely. So, there's really a call for y'all. Squirrel was telling me, You know what, C. Canuel? I have to say, I think your question tipped off an energy for everyone today in the reading. Because what I'm hearing is, so let me tell you one thing this card generally means when it comes out in readings that I give is squirrels will plant oh, they'll dig a jillion places in a yard or on property or you know in the land and they'll store, store away their nuts and their acorns and stuff for the winter problematically they also create fake outs so they'll dig these holes and put nothing in them but they do that for any of the other animals that might be watching to see where they hid their food and so i see this card a lot when people have a false relationship with food or a harmful relationship with food or sustenance of any kind. Sometimes I see this card, um, the Ace of Wands. Sometimes I see it when people are having a false relationship, like with another person, with a career, with themselves. And, and it's usually a call to stop doing that. <laughs> Because the problem is, is that when squirrel goes to harvest their own food in the winter, they only harvest and find about 10 to 20% of the 100% that they packed away. And that's problematic. That's a lot of work only to reap 20%. You don't have to be a financial genius to know that. Okay, that said. What I'm hearing is I'm watching squirrel pack things in my yard. Y'all. <laughs> oh. oh, you're going to think I'm nuts. But I can't help it. It's what I'm being shown. I am literally seeing your thumbnail on this chat. Your thumbnail. The squirrel is burying your thumbnail. And I was like, what does that mean? And Scroll was like, don't you get it? Don't, don't, don't you get it? This is inspiration. They shouldn't let anybody dull them. They shouldn't let anybody put them away or store them away. Them, the, 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 the best, not the best parts of you, but you, like who you really are. Y'all, let me tell you something. There is, we are the best kinds of nuts. Um, crazy is the best kind. There is, there is something, so see, can you well, it started with you, right? So I'm not trying to bust your chops. Honestly, this is not a dig at you and I'm not pointing a finger and nobody's chastising you, but come on now, you're an adult. And, and, and to know that you have it in your heart, in your spirit, that you want to be world renowned on big stages with your music. And then you're like, I'm bad at computers. I can't set up a YouTube account. Come on now. What that says is there's a fear block. And further, it says you're hiding. And having a false relationship with yourself in that you've got, that's your excuse for not getting on the worldwide stage. Okay. Maybe you didn't think about it that way. Now you do. And you'll, you'll, you won't do that anymore, right? Okay. Having said that, let me say this. This is for anyone who's hiding themselves. And we just, you know, sometimes we know what will trigger us. 
Sometimes we don't. Wow, Maureen. Burying the thumbnail relates to the words of the song The Rose. It does? What is, how does that relate, Maureen? Some say love it is on the rose. Some believe I say love it is a thorn. It's only seen when the night. Well, I, uh, I, I don't get it. Hey, Maureen, pluck that line of the rose or whatever it is that you think. That woman, she is the symbolism goddess. It's really unbelievable, the things that she can put together. It's crazy. It's just nuts. Oh. <laughs> just remember that in the winter, far beneath the hidden snow. Got it. Okay. Off key, but I got it. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Which is interesting because that brings this whole thing for full. For That brings this whole thing for <laughs> That brings this thing full circle today, doesn't it? Wowzers. Dang, Maureen, thank you. That's fantastic. I know. Isn't it ironic? Don't you think? It's like Maureen on a, on, uh, on a summer's day, on a winter's day. Oh, my God, Maureen, I'm going to do a song parody to ironic just for you. So, um, listen, serious business, though. Some of y'all out there are fooling yourselves about why you're not having this, why you don't have that, why you can't get this, why this will never happen. It's really interesting because, man, there's been a threat of people, whether clients, friends, whatever, and they'll be talking and all of a sudden my ear will start to do that, which is always spirit's way of saying, listen, listen, because you need to pay attention to this. And I'll be like, okay. And they'll, they'll be, they'll be making excuses but they don't couch them as excuses they're not articulated as excuses they're articulated as reasons they call them reasons none of them true not a one of them true I often say it's like Inigo Montoya and Princess Bride I don't think that word means what you think it means And then in a reading, spirit will tell them one thing. Oh, no, that doesn't ring true. That doesn't resonate. Okay, let's try this a different way. Nope, that doesn't resonate. All right, we'll try it again. And all of a sudden, it resonates. <laughs> They're like, <laughs> I had it happen to me in readings. I get readings, y'all, just like you do. And so, I, 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 Squirrel is your friend. You, you, you're being asked to take a look at this stuff. Here's how you do it. There's a process. What are the things that you want in your life or what are the things you want for yourself and they either have never happened, you've come to believe that it was never supposed to happen or don't believe that it will ever happen. Let's start with those things, write a list. Each one of them, take them one week at a time, do one one day at a time or whatever, and ask Squirrel and all of the archetypal symbolism of the Rider Waite Tarot, Ace of Wands, to come to you and, and show you how to undo that programming, that false programming. Like, stop telling a false story because you're going to find that what, what, you've been telling yourself was just a front for the business. It's like the Wizard of Oz, right? This seems right and it seems grandiose until you peel back that curtain <laughs> and that little old fellow sounds like this. <laughs> right? Okay. In some ways, he was the great powerful Wizard of Oz because he fooled everybody, but he could never fool himself. You can't fool yourself. So you're really being asked to work with that energy with Squirrel. And don't be afraid. I mean, it just is what it is. It's not like you've done anything wrong. It's not like there's something wrong with you. It's not like you haven't done enough healing. It's not, we all have these things. I mean, for goodness sake, they say if we could know what's in our subconscious, we, 
we would be Stephen Hawking times a gajillion. That's how smart we would be. That's how much achievement we would have in our life. Just if we knew even a third of what goes on in our unconscious and our subconscious. So Bruce Lipton and Greg Braden and Jason Mimosa and um, who else was it? Uh, like a rock. That guy, Dwayne Johnson, Brad Pitt, uh, uh, Wonder Woman. I don't know if there's any other women y'all want to get on your list of this. <laughs> this tarot card reading is for you. Uh, dedicated, dedicated to the ones I love. Oh, Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. Oh, Moonbo. We got to talk. We got to talk about Mark Ruffalo. I know. Skunk all the way. I love it. That's it. You've got turtles all, uh, what is it? Turtles all the way down? No, we've got skunk all the way. Um, so that's for real, Rosa. When you point his finger at somebody, there's three others pointing back at you. That's the fat jack. What? Oh, dang it. I've got to give away a, um, a tarot deck. I promised I would give away an Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck, uh, the deluxe edition. So here's how you win. I have something in my mind. Oh, Lordy, Gerard Butler. Hey, Osalunky Oswandawalla. The gods of your country. You are you are asking for fire sport. Blocked. Blocked. Okay. For a deluxe edition that retails for $79.99, including free shipping. I have something in my mind. I will give you a hint. It's a situation. And I want you to give me three pieces of evidence that you are locked into the energy of this situation. And then tell me what you are getting for the outcome. What will be the outcome of this situation? Oh my God, 300. It was like an oil painting came to life. So hot, that movie's so hot. Okay. Amen, amen, amen. That's not specific, Maggie. I want to, believe me, I want to believe what you have there. But um, it's not specific. So remember, you've got to, you've got to give me three pieces of evidence. Oh, bye, Nira, Nayira. Ooh, sorry. I, oh, I hope I'm pronouncing your name. Have a great day, honey. Stay wild. I need three specific pieces of evidence and then what the outcome is going to be. Starfish, mermaid, and fish. Abundance from black mentality with magic all around. So I'm... My lawn guy is here. She's been seeing him every day for four months. She still barks her fool head off when she sees him. I am, I will, and will succeed. I need specifics. Give me a color. Give me a chakra. Give me a name. Give me a sound. Tell me a vision. Specifics. Oh, Krista, that's very specific. Chrysanthemum, snow leopard, aquamarine, that's all I got. I have to think about that. Okay, Nikki, starfish, mermaid, and fish. Abundance from black mentality. Magic all around. <laughs> That's advice, Mystic, with the lipstick. Yes. Here's the question. Lisa at Integrative Medicine. Chicken. Truth, throat, coin, open up, and abundance is yours. 
Bagpipes, Jason Momoa, and White Wedding. <laughs> Don't I wish, Jennifer Baggett. Wind chimes. Rainbow colored leopard jaguar. I feel like I'm in the water and all of a sudden I forget to swim. See Canuel, hold on. Take care of me, self love, move forward with my knowing and do what I am meant to do. Deep dive. Dove squirrel deer. <laughs> popsicle watermelon ocean summer calls me it does me too y'all ever had a, a wine popsicle they sell them for seven dollars a piece on the rivers here that you can get permission to have a liquor license on your boat and they sell wine wine pops for seven bucks a piece who buys a wine pop for seven dollars i'll never want wine that much ever Stacy, I got a bush, a tree, a path, and something to do with it all coming together. Okay. I know. Yummy. Okay. Here's who I'm going to go with at the moment. Gypsy Nana. I believe you said wind chimes. On my screen right now on Amazon are wind chimes. <laughs> I'm looking to buy some wind chimes because I just had my porch remodeled. She wins. Now, that doesn't tell me what the outcome is. And there are a lot of, I really appreciate, I'll appreciate the inspirational messages that y'all passed along. However, I mean, I really appreciate them. And I'm sure that's what you saw. For those of you that are practicing, for those of you, and I'm not trying to tell another professional how to do their stuff, but for those of you that are practicing, a specific that can be proven is evidence. And that's why, that's why it can be really helpful to your practice and to yourself when you will work with spirit to bring you specifics. Like out of the blue, she's going to get wind chimes. Come on. Uh, and they literally are pulled up on a screen on Amazon. And I've got like four I'm trying to decide between. And knowing me, I'll just probably get all four <laughs> because I love them and I'll put them in different places in my yard. So, <clears throat> Gypsy Nana, would you kindly email me howl at wildpack howl at wildpack.com, howl at wildpack.com, email me your, uh, e your mailing address where you'd like to ship to, and I will get this out to you. Congratulations. And I really love giving away uh, stuff, and especially the ARC. So, um, I, I think every Friday, next Friday, we'll probably get back to our our regularly scheduled program, which is me not being so silly. And I thank you all very much today for being patient with me. Uh, and every Friday I will give away a deluxe edition of the ARC. So I love you all very much. Pick up your copy of the ARC Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the ringy dingy bell thingy. Um, what else am I supposed to say? Please, please, please share on your social media networks or really an email on your newsletters, anywhere you want to go. And what's most important going into the weekend well really now and every day to do good for animals including yourself and stay wild